Friday, Prigozhin, a longtime Putin ally, announced a march for justice, effectively an uprising against Russian military leaders. Wagner forces seize control of two Russian military hubs in the South Friday, and Russian media reported the downing of several helicopters and a military plane. In Rostov-on-Don, Russians were seen cheering and applauding as Prigozhin and his convoy headed to Moscow. But they never made it, turning back just 120 miles from the capital, amid reports of a deal with Putin calling for Prigozhin to leave Russia for nearby Belarus. Russia now says it's dropping its charges of mutiny against Prigozhin. But the damage against Vladimir Putin's image as a leader who cannot be challenged is by most accounts immense. Perhaps just as importantly, Prigozhin has lifted the veil on Russian state propaganda on the war in Ukraine, telling the Russian people they've been lied to.